I promise it is genius. As an artist, my art is environmentally friendly. It just gives me some kind of comfort. Good luck in the raffle. The custom starts with the vision. Hey guys! Oh. <laughs> How are you? My name is Rodney. Welcome to the first episode of a new series that I'm calling Custom Competition. I commissioned three Draculaura inspired customs that I'm gonna be restyling and I want you guys to use the Google form below to vote on who your favorite is. I've always known that I have a very creative and artistic audience that I feel like could really use a platform to really showcase their amazing work. And that's pretty much what this is. People always ask me why I don't follow anybody on social media and over time that reason has kind of changed but really I wanted to make a good use of the follow feature I wanted it to be more impactful and I wanted to kind of have fun with it so with that being said the winner will receive their doll featured on the cover of my YouTube channel a designated post on my Instagram page and on my YouTube community section and a free doll of their choice so it's almost like another giveaway kind of but for one person <laughs> the winner will be announced next sunday at 2 or 3 p.m i'll let you guys know on whatnot so go ahead and follow the page i'm going to be hosting a bid for all three of the dolls so that way we can do more charitable work i mentioned in the past uh, my interest in charitable things and charitable work and i really kind of want to pursue that even more and I decided that I'm gonna donate 50% of the profits accrued from that to their charity of choice, the winner's charity of choice. Isn't that fun? I think that'll be a cool, I think that'll be a cool thing. I don't know if it's gonna work, <laughs> but I like the WhatNot platform and I definitely wanna continue to use so it. So without further ado, I'm so excited. I'm sorry, Ooh, let me calm down. Without further ado, let's begin with the custom Draculaura made by Matt Blair, AKA Dolls by Blair. I was trying to pull it up, Matt Blair. <laughs> so yes, let's do it. They're already done as you can see, but you haven't seen the process yet. Let's get, let's get started. So I have all of the girlies here and I'm so excited. I want to start with the big one because it says fragile. Yeah, it says fragile on it. It says I needed to sign for it. Like why? Oh, by the way, it came like this. I have no idea why it's been so physically disrupted, but. <laughs> You're joking. Yes, I love the presentation. Look at all the little details and stuff. This is all hand drawn. Okay. I definitely gotta keep this box in mint condition. It's like a whole little thing. <gasps> Many thanks, Matt Blair. Oh, thank you, Matt. I'm gonna look at all of this stuff after I look at the doll. <gasps> oh my gosh, no way. Whoa, are you seeing this? She's so freaking cool. Look at her. Wait, 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 wait. Look at that. This is a Shadow High Uma Van Hoos. I'm like, I'm afraid to touch anything. I feel like I'm gonna smudge the paint or something. See, this lighting is not good. No, no, no. Good thing I have two cameras. So look at it, guys. Look at the full body. All the little details. She's super tatted. And that's what makes this artist specifically special because they do full body tattoos and just really make them so unique. So you're not going to get any other doll that looks like this anywhere else. Oh, <gasps> no way. Wait, like the talent and the skill is insane. Oh, <gasps> don't you dare. That's so cool. I'm almost like overwhelmed and this is amazing. And I'm so appreciative and thankful. Insane, absolutely crazy. As usual, we're gonna start off by drawing out and planning her hairstyle. But in the meantime, let's ask Matt some questions. Hi Matt, when did your doll journey begin? As a kid, I started destroying dolls and the hair was always the first thing to go, chop, chop, chop. I think I started around 2016 and I felt hard for the OMGs when I first got them. But now Rainbow High and Shadow High are taking over my heart. The plastic is really, really smooth to paint on and 
that's what I'm really enjoying at the moment. What was the theme for this custom? This custom, my notes said the ultimate version of Draculaura. I wanted this to be a uh, Draculaura that's after her sweet 1600. She's matured more into her vampirism. Her sweetness and cutesy face is a contrast of her attitude and the power. I love how he described that. I think it's totally thought out and cool. But this is what I'm listening to. I've been really interested. Well, I've been really into this song by Willow Smith lately. It's really nice. But I'm using pink hair that I just had tucked away. And I didn't want to re-root her, you know, because I've never re-rooted a Rainbow High doll head. And I've heard that you have to have it soft at all times. So I just wanted to do it the cheap way. And here I am. Back to Matt. Describe your art style. My signature style is very detailed and also tattooed. Um, for me, it's traditional tattoos all the way. I also wanted her to have a lot of vampirific references. Some of them are probably a bit obscure. Um, I'd like you guys to try and figure out what they are. <laughs> okay, nice. Well, why do you customize? Uh, my partner is the one who encouraged me to take the leap to get dolls to repaint and I'm really thankful for his encouragement, though he is very much starting to regret that decision now. Um, and it's really hard to find doll people in real life. I started off with sharing a lot on Facebook groups and learning a lot from those sort of people. It was really a stroke of luck when I met my first doll friend in real life. Um, I was just going for a tattoo. And I really hope that this encourages everyone to find doll friends out there in life. The friends I've made are amazing and I love spending time with them and sharing ideas with them. And I'm really enjoying the friendship that me and Rodney have. <laughs> Oh, I appreciate it, Tia. Thank you. <laughs> um, so as you saw, I, I'm making heavy use of those silver needles. Um, they really have helped me with my recent restyles. I feel like they allow me to do things that I did before, but in a way quicker manner. Walk us through the steps for your customs, Matt. So usually my process would involve styling and dyeing hair first, um, but for this collaboration, it worked best that the hair was left as it was for Rodney to do um, and I'm really excited to see what he does. I hope you guys are too. It's going to be great I know. After receiving the prompt from Rodney I got to sketching, fleshing out my ideas and then I bite the worst bit first so I start with the sewing, adding embellishments, adjusting pieces and then it's a time rush against the weather. In the UK it rains a lot and there's high humidity a lot which messes with the Mr. Super Clear sealant. So I spray her when I can and then slowly work on her over a few hours or days and then seal again. Once her repaint is finished, she gets sealed nice and thick. Her eyes and lips glossed up and her lashes glued. Well, they were placed for this because um, I'm a bit concerned that the hot water is going to melt them. So Rodney's going to have to glue them. And then me and a friend worked to do a photo shoot with her and get some photos and they turned out amazing. So hopefully they'll be uploaded soon. We also managed to create this extra piece of work. It's like a little card thing. I hope you really enjoy it. Hopefully I'm going to get versions for you guys to buy out as well. But yeah, I hope you really enjoyed seeing my Draculaura and everything that I did. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, Matt, for participating and good luck. Just adding some finishing touches before we move on to Splatter Man. This one I was really excited about because it has this really cool magnetic box and I'm like, yes. I love the presentation. <laughs> oh, that's really pretty. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, three, <laughs> never mind. Okay, cool, thank you for that. Let's see here, I'm so scared. <gasps> oh my God, guys. It looks like, um. wow, wow, I'm gonna cry. <gasps> what the heck? <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. Who is this with these clothes? Like, I love her so much already. And she has Saran here. <laughs> and she has a side part. Wait a minute, is this an Ever After High doll? <gasps> I think it's an Ever After High doll. I'm so excited. What the, she has a lot of hair too. Look, it says customs right here. Cute. Oh my goodness, wow, that is amazing. I just wasn't expecting this. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. I told them, to not like spoil me in the uh, process of them being 
done. Is it Monster High? No, this is definitely not a Monster High body. And I love that she has straight hair because it's going to make it so much easier to style. I might have to get more Ever After High dolls. All right, look at her. I know the depth of the field is really shallow, but it's so simple, but it's extraordinarily unique. So I'm so excited. And thank you so much for the accessories. Like she, honestly, she might be my favorite <laughs> already. Just because I love like, you know, this gothic aesthetic. Look at the bats on the thing. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're going to get her together. She, we're... We're gonna do something really cute for her. Alrighty, Splendor Man. Thanks for joining us. Tell me about the theme for this custom. The theme for this custom was Draculaura. I was sort of inspired by Cupid and the Monster High Ever After High crossover and picked Raven Queen because she had the best hair out of my entire stock box. And I thought, her hair colors might fit in quite well to Draculaura's original G1 outfit. Guys, doesn't she have the most sweetest, like, best voice you've ever heard? Like, I, I, she definitely needs to work in some kind of, like, audible book thing. Yeah, tell me about when your doll journey began. I began my doll journey pretty much when I was a child. I've always had Barbies and Cindy's. Betty Spaghetti's. Growing up, they were always quite a big part of my life. I got rid of them all when I decided I was too old for them, <laughs> which is funny. That's lovely. When did you get into customizing? In 2019, I discovered the crazy world of doll customizing. Bought my first Monster High and my first Ever After High, and I haven't really looked back since then. Okay, and why did you start? The reason I started was because my computer actually broke and I really loved The Sims, and I really missed getting to customize characters on The Sims, and that was a huge part of like my teenage years, and I lost that. But then I sort of refound that in dolls. Um, I customize because it gives me something to do, it gives my brain something else to focus on, rather than worrying, overthinking, anxiety. It just gives me some kind of comfort. That's definitely amazing. And what would you consider your art style? My art style is sort of a bit all over the place. It's a bit cartoony, a bit realistic, gothic, cute. I can't really pick one style. Explain to me the steps for your doll customs. Every custom starts with a vision in my head and a list. I make the outfits first because that's my favourite part and I do the face-ups last because that's the scariest part. As an adult, dolls are probably the most important now. It's such a fun community and such a fun hobby. Thank you, Splendor Man, and good luck. Guys, let's give it up for our last contestant, Third Amoeba. <laughs> okay, so now we have Third Amoebas. <laughs> I love the art style from this creator, and let's see what they did. Ooh, what's this? The local creep is their art Instagram. That's a really pretty picture. Thank you for that. <gasps> Oh, wow, okay. Let me read this. And being able to work with you was such an incredible and mind-blowing thing for me. Oh, oh gosh, here we go. Who I've been watching, um, oh gosh, okay, hold on, start to shake. <laughs> Hope you love Draculaura. She was definitely a novel of labor and love. Okay. Oh, love Tabitha. <laughs> Thank you, Tabitha. Um, that, yeah, that definitely got me and the soul. Okay. So we have a G3 Draculaura body, I can already tell. Ooh! This is gonna be a hard decision. Like, I'm happy that I'm not the one doing the voting because they're all so good. Like, that's why I wanted to give everyone this opportunity because I know that there's a lot of talented people and artists that follow me. This is a great way for us to like, connect with each other and really just combine our efforts and our, you know, our talents and skills. Like. This is so beautiful. Look at her face. Like, if they made her actually look like this, I would be so happy. Like, and look at the outfit that they put together. <gasps> and the scarf. I don't know what to do. I feel overwhelmed. I feel so joyful. And why is her hair so nice and soft? My Draculaura doesn't have hair this nice. What am I going to do, guys? What am I going to do? You guys all won. There's no competition at this point. <gasps> oh, and then the shoes. Look at the shoes. How cool. Hi, Third Amoeba. Thank you so much for doing this for me. Hello, I'm Third Amoeba, but you can call me T. Obviously, let me get this out of the way for my sake. This boggled my mind and quite literally blew me away when I was given this opportunity. So I just wanted to take a moment to thank Rodney for allowing me to showcase my work on his platform, as this is most definitely a core memory for me. On to the process. When prompted with the concept for the doll, I immediately knew I wanted to do a personal take on my own G3 line with what I had available and willing to give away, lol. 
began my process by taking an existing photo of a factory G3 Draculaura and putting it into Fire Alpaca. I paint on the picture until I get a desired result. Once I have the face up mapped, I go into my doll parts box and began picking out a variety of pieces that could go together as well as pieces that could potentially work with the repaint. At first, Draculaura had a completely different top, but that's about all that had changed with her design. In the end, I gave Draculaura her original base earrings, ring, and top tied with a ribbon, along with her creepover leggings as a scarf. I promise it is genius. Additionally, I paired these items with a Barbie skirt. To top it off, I gave Draculaura repainted Rainbow High Ruby Addison shoes in black and metallic pink. Thank you, T, for all that information. <laughs> Made my job a lot easier. But now I'm wondering what inspired this custom besides the original prompt. What inspired her repaint was an intentional goth Lolita look with the worried eyebrows with the Freak to Chic inspired lip repaint. I also gave her micro bang because I felt like that would be the next step for Draculaura fashion plus timeline wise. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and with all that being said, I packaged her up neatly and sent her away to Rodney to have her hair done and given to one of you guys. I hope you all love her just as much as I miss having her in my collection for a brief time, but good luck in the raffle and thank you again, Ronnie, for this awesome project. Alrighty, that was the final contestant and I'm super excited to show you guys the final results. But before I do that, I want to thank them for participating in this. This was such an exciting video to make and it's definitely the most ambitious. It took three, it took a long time. <laughs> yeah, but let's get into it. Three, two, one. So here they are guys, again this was a very ambitious project and overall looking at them all lined up together I'm very proud of what we've come up with and I just I couldn't thank the participants enough this was really fun and I just I didn't think that I would be able to do it in the short amount of time that I did do it in like you guys don't understand like I've been hustling all week getting this video done so I really hope that it was a great watch and I definitely want to do another episode by the way Matt if you're watching this I know that I put the cape on your custom wrong I put it on wrong I know I did but the buyer is free to do with it what they may I just didn't want to move things around too much before packing but yes, guys, I'm going to be selling these on Whatnot. Tune in on Sunday at 3 p.m. That's the plan. If reality deviates from that plan, then I'll keep you guys updated. But for now, this Sunday at 3 p.m. on Whatnot, I'm going to be auctioning off all of these girlies. So come swing by, show some love, and support this person's charity, whoever the winner's going to be. But guys, that's it for now. I am bummed after all of this. I need a rest, okay? I hope you guys have a lovely and amazing a stupendous rest of your week oh my gosh guys guess Say what hi. my niece is turning one <laughs> on saturday can you believe it it's been a year she's turning one it's so amazing but yes that'll be it for this video thank you guys so much I, I appreciate everything that you do for me thank you to the participants again i love all of you guys and i hope to do this again soon love you guys have a good rest of your day bye